Hi, this is Michael Carvajal, and you're watching True School Sports. Take care. Good job. Yeah, very, very talented fighter, Cal Brook. Um, as, far, as far as, you know, another question I want to ask you, because, you know, when you were coming up, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is before you were a pro, uh, you did a lot of sparring with Manny Pacquiao. What were those sparring sessions like? Well, like what, what was Manny like back in those days? They, they really were fun. Uh, I think the first time I sparred with uh, Manny, I might have been 11-0. That was the first time I was in camp with him. And uh, it, it just, it truly was fun. Uh, I was, you know, able to make him miss and able to hit him and vice versa. And a lot of the sessions that, you know, when we were sparred, they were they were really uh, high intensity and, uh, and a lot of output going from both both ends. You know, outside of that, uh, you know, he would get in the ring with his other guys and he just carried them through. But with me, he, he really had to put in some work to keep me off of him yeah. and, 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 and stay sharp, you know. And, and same for me, you know, I had to stay stay sharp mentally and uh, and physically as well because uh, we, we know what he can do with his quickness and, and his feet. So, I mean, like I said, back then he was in his prime. So, I, I was getting the best of Manny. You were? Yeah, well, it was. Yeah. A lot of people say that, like, back in those days especially, Manny is like lateral movement and the way he would hit his angles, they say like you would see like three of them in the ring at one time. Is, is that true? <laughs> uh, anybody sparring with him or fighting him may have said that, but not me. Um, he was very quick and, and that, again, that's why I say it was fun because uh, when you're just as quick as someone and you have those same type of movements and you can you can do the same things he, he can do, you know, it's, it's, it's bang bang. It's just as quick as he's making that move, I'm making the move to defend it or to, you know, to be offensive, you know. So that's what made it so competitive and so fun being in the ring with him was it was a lot of bang bang, a lot of bang bang, a lot of that, yeah, you know, yeah. and a lot of that continuously for, you know, five, six, seven, eight, whatever rounds we did. Yeah. Um, being that you, how old are you now, Sean? You're 26? I'm 29. 20, now. Oh, 29. Yes, okay. Yes, so, I think it's fair to say uh, you're in the prime of your career. Yes, sir. So, what do you feel like you've improved on to, 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 to continue making steps forward in the welterweight division? Uh, I would say maybe the number one thing we, we try to do is just get better. And the number one thing we try to do is to, you know, um, we try to, you know, I can do a lot of things, you know, but we try to focus, you know, through a camp on one thing at a time to make sure that, you know, when it com all comes together on fight night, it all is collectively a lot better. And, you know, one comment that I've heard that I really appreciate is, you know, everyone says when, every time they see me in the ring, I'm better than the previous time that they saw me in the ring. And that's just a testament to my team and, and myself and, and the way we work and collectively what we strive to do, which is just get better and, and perform better every time we fight. Do you feel like your um, your just pure boxing abilities improve? Because a lot of people will say, well, Sean Porter is a guy who just comes in and mauls you, but they don't really recognize the boxing aspect of your skill set. Well, you know, I would say, you know, when we start camp or we get back going, training and stuff like that, we just reel it all the way back, you know. So uh, the aggressiveness that you may see in the ring, uh, that doesn't come out when we first start back training and camp and stuff like that. We're focused on the jab. What's the jab? The most simple thing in boxing. But... We work on improving the most simple thing. That way, on fight night, it's that much better. And I think what you've seen over the last course, the course of the last few fights, are guys that aren't willing to come at me, and I have to go at them. So um, before we were going at them with a lot of power and a lot of aggression, and now we're starting to, you know, work in more jabs, more boxing, setting up the power, and you know, trying to make guys come to me and you know things of that nature. You know, so um, yeah, I would say that the boxing ability has improved. But it, it's only because everything else is improving. Okay.